I'm James Manzo, you're bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys. So, I'm so excited to bring you this next video. I was at Target, right? And I was going through the Halloween costume section and I saw that Disney has a line of wigs. That's right, Disney has wigs. I cannot wait to show you the things I bought. I'm gonna style one of the things I bought for you today. It is the Moana wig. <laughs> now, clearly it's probably for children, judging by the, you know, cover. But look, it's a long, wavy, black wig, and I'm excited to see what it looks like. Let's style it. But first things first, let's open it up. All right, let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right. Doesn't look like it's a whole lot in here. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, that's a small wig cap. <laughs> All right, this is our wig. It is definitely smaller than I expected. It's probably for children, but we're gonna do something with this. Oh yeah, this would be actually a really good ponytail piece. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, let me put it on my wig head and we'll start styling it. Okay, so I have it all pinned down to the head and we gotta look at this. Okay, look at the hairline on her. Oh my God, the elastic straps. They're right here. So this is clearly meant for a child's head, <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. I am determined to make this wig work. So we're gonna start it out. As I feel through the hair, it, it's definitely costume texture hair. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. And the waves look a lot prettier on the package than they actually do here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Moana, you're gonna be a challenge, but you know what, I like a challenge. Okay, as I tease through it, I'm not exactly sure where this is gonna go. But we're gonna see. Just gonna start doing section by section, little by little. All right, I got a tease started on it and it's not the easiest hair to tease, I'll say that right now. It's very kind of like fishing wire almost. Ernie, can you bring the light closer? Oh God, I gotta try and bring some light into this wig because I'm in darkness right now. Good Lord. She looks like a member of Motley Crue. This is fine. This is just fine. It's gonna be great. Just watch. I know what I'm gonna do with this. Okay, I got a good tease started on it. I'm gonna tease the rest off camera and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Okay, I started the hairline and I teased out the rest of the wig and I have to say, this wig was a lot of work. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of hair in this whatsoever and I pulled out, I think, way more hair than was actually in the wig. This is gonna be like a super natural hairstyle for me this time because like looking at it, like there's no actual style left in the hair. Like just teasing it took all of it out. And I bet you're wondering, James, how much hair did you pull out of this wig? Well, good question. The answer is this much. It's almost the whole wig, ew. Okay, let's get started on this and try and do something with this hair. All right, as I look at it, like I'm trying to see what I could possibly do with it. Um, I kind of want to burn it, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do something with this. I mean, I'd probably give my dog this wig. Okay, I think I have an idea. Let's brush through it. Okay, I think I figured out what I want to do with this, but first of all, this wig is too much. It's left hair on my face, hair on my floor, hair on the girls, my God. All right, I'm gonna give this thing a roller set because there's no texture left in this hair. I'm gonna try and put a curl into it just so I can do some sort of a style to it. And since it's already pre-teased, I don't have to do a whole lot. I basically just have to section it off the way I wanna do it. And I just wanna really roll up the ends. This is really gonna be our test to see whether or not this hair actually can take a curl. We're experimenting on this channel. All right, grabbing it, wrapping it, rolling it down, there you go keeping a tight grip on it. And normally you'd want to put pins on each side, but this is already pre-teased, so the hair is kind of sticking together. All right, I'm gonna finish rolling this one and you guys already know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna roll the rest off camera. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I have the wig all rolled up. That's how she looks. And I'm gonna put a bag over it and steam it. Only the finest couture bags for this wig. All right, here we go. And let's steam it out. Ah, now this is recycling at its finest. I have a bag that once carried my dinner and now it's steaming my wigs. <laughs> ow, 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 it's getting hot. All right, that is all steamed out. I'm gonna put it inside the wig oven. I'll be right back. All right, it is all dried off. Let's see if it actually curled. Moment of truth, here we go. Okay. It's a real crispy curl. Like, I'm afraid to like brush it out for fear that it might go away, but she's crispy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
they're beginning to look a bit more like I expected now. All right, well, it's better than what it was before. In hindsight, I probably would have curled the wig before I did all of this, but you know what? I didn't think the hair was gonna be as bad as it was, so it's a learning experience. But at least you know it can curl if a little bit, and I do mean a little bit. Oh my goodness, yeah, some of these are just, that. that's terrible. Oh my gosh, I didn't really do anything. All right. <sighs> it's so bad, oh my gosh. Okay, hmm, let's see what can be done. Ooh, Disney did us dirty today, all right. Honestly, for $10, I would rather spend my money on that Walmart premium wig, because this is awful. Actually, I think this is about $7, but still, I'd spend the extra money just to get the Walmart premium. Oh, goodness. Yeah, some of these curls just didn't take at all. So we're just gonna fake it. I have a feeling this wig is gonna go into retirement immediately after this video. Ooh, all right, sisters. I think we're gonna have to start doing some hairspray molding. <laughs> Grab our got to be and just start going to town. All right, I'm back you guys. You wanna see some bullshit? Check this out. Look at that, there's no curl whatsoever. This quick did not take a curl. I am racking my brain to find a solution for this hair and my only one I can come up with is set it on fire. We're gonna sweep this aside and hope for the best. I feel bad using my good bobby pins on this kind of wig. Ugh, doesn't deserve them. You don't deserve my bobby pin. Try and lock in any kind of structure here at this point and pray it stays together because <laughs> this wig is so small and there's like no hair in it whatsoever. Ugh, okay, here we go. At least the hair is smoothing out, so there's that. All right, I'm trying out a different hairspray. I tried a big sexy hair and I have to say like, for this awful cheap hair, it's actually getting the job done. It's not a whole lot, but this is the best I could do, you guys. This wig is pretty awful. And I'm doing hairspray and blow dryer heat to try and like force this into a curve because it didn't take the, any of the curls I did. This is the intense hold hairspray. And I have to say like, it's getting the job done. Oh my gosh. It's like my new favorite finishing spray. It makes the hair rock solid. Not trying to be that girl, but if anyone from Big Sexy Hair is watching, sponsor me. Oh my gosh. All right, just wanna get this section a little higher still. More hairspray and more heat. All right, I'm gonna raise it up because I realize it's kind of out of frame. She is looking rock solid and she's looking like she's coated in hairspray. So what I'm gonna do here to cover up my flaws is I'm gonna use some glitter hairspray, which is also from Big Sexy Hair. This is Big Sexy Fun glitter hairspray. I'm gonna shake it up. All right, I'm gonna spray the rest off camera. I'll be right back. James Manson made a video styling Disney wigs. However, when she made the video, she forgot to do her Venmo moment. Before we get to the names, a brief disclaimer. Please don't send any hate to James Mansfield, Disney, Moana, Venmo, or anyone else involved in this controversy. So what's the big issue? When James Mansfield forgets to do a Venmo moment, he neglects his fans. We here at Squirt are only here to report the tea and name the names that James forgot to mention. <laughs> James should have thanked Tori, Thomas, Sarah, Christian, Oscar, Mackenzie, Trevor, and Nick. Do you think James doesn't care about his fans? Sound off in the comment section below. Hey, knock it off. Welcome back, this is the final result. Okay, you guys, I have thoughts. Now, this wig took the most out of me, you guys. It was so hard to work with. I am not a fan of the Disney Moana wigs. As far as it goes, I had that Moana song going over and over in my head, and Moana can go f herself for all I care now. Gosh, this is as far as I go with this hair, okay? Now, if you thought this was gonna turn into a series, you're wrong. This is the very last video of this I'm going to do. I am not doing any more Disney wigs. I have had it. So I hope you enjoyed this Moana hair because it's the last time I'm ever doing a Disney wig.
Now I addressed the problems with this wig as I was styling it. It would not hold a curl for anything and there was really no style in the hair to begin with to make anything achievable out of this hair. And at the very end, I ended up covering it up with a glitter spray, which was kind of a mistake because it ended up bringing out the flaws, but it kind of made the hair follicles look like cobwebs. So I decided, oh, I'll put spiders in my hair. It's Halloween time anyway, so you gotta make the most of it. That's drag girl in a nutshell. Take your flaws and accentuate them with something fabulous. Now this hair is just missing one more thing. An exorcism. No, just kidding. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give it a spritz. Now my wig smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And if you want a wig triple as fabulous as this one, why don't you get one of my very own style wigs from my wig line at jamesmansfieldbeauty.com. And if you notice this, like this wig keeps shedding. Like I turn my head and hair sheds out of it. I'm growing chest hair as I speak. But you know what will help with that chest hair? Manscaped. Grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully with my code MANSKILLED20, you can save 20% off your purchase and that includes free shipping. Just go to manscaped.com. Now this has been the most and I hope I never see a Disney wig ever, ever, ever again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, be sure to hit that dislike button twice. And until next time, Bye! Woo! Spooky, spooky! Click here and see James transform $10 Walmart wigs. Or see her transform a Sasha Banks wig from Shop WWE. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll go on a psychotic reign of terror just to get elected class president. So click it!